Welcome to Listertainment, a channel that sets up high expectations but never meets them. Today we will look at 10 people who decided to get fake muscles either by injecting synthol or getting implants. I sometimes wish I could be like these people and not care what others think, but there is no way that they can actually look in the mirror and think they look good and that the muscles look real. There is no way that they can't see that they look like aliens since nobody has bodies like these. And that makes it clear to me that they don't care what others think. They have watched way too many Popeye cartoons. If you happen to enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Also turn on notifications and please let me know in the comments if you could get fake muscles but no one would ever notice, would you get them? I would not. We have to start with the one we already know and that Mexican businessman Jorge Caguagi. This guy is absolutely ridiculous as we saw how he took part in a boxing match that was obviously fake and was fixed for the opponent to go down. I really think he believes that having fake muscles makes him stronger and look better but he just looks weird since he doesn't work out his legs or his forearms at all so he just looks misshapen almost like a robot. This guy also used to look pretty good when he was young, but with all the surgeries on his body and face, now he just looks like an alien. Kirill Tereshin is a Russian guy who has been dubbed Popeye due to his giant biceps that just look like cancer on his arms. They do not match any other part of his body since he is a really tiny guy. The growth of his arms is due to injecting synthol oil into his muscles, which is not recommended. He has recently been warned that his arms could be amputated because the synthol injections cause tissue fibrosis followed by necrosis. Basically his cells are dying. That's why recently he got them removed. He got a lot of attention online and even participated in an MMA fight recently where he got choked out by the other guy just using his forearm pushing down on his throat. His fake muscles obviously didn't help him since this way of winning the fight is almost unheard of. Pretty sad way to lose. Oh, and I almost forgot, he also lost when he competed in the slap contest. <laughs> One of the strangest decisions ever made by Guinness was to give a world record to Mustafa Ismail from Egypt. They stated that he had the largest upper arms in the world and they measured 31 inches around. Mustafa claims that his arm muscles are 100% real and that he has never injected or gotten implants, but they look too weird to be true. The rest of his body looks normal with no particularly large areas that a real bodybuilder would have. Guinness did kind of retract this record by deleting all mention of this man from their website, but it's kind of too late now. They could just give the award to a really fat man if they don't really care what's under the skin. It could be fat, implants or oil, which is what I suspect this guy has. Just look at his forearms compared to his upper arms, how is that even possible? This case is one of the worst case scenarios for fake muscles. Peter Hiesinger who did steroids and still could not build enough muscle to his liking also injected synthol in his arms. His constant abuse gave him a heart attack. Doctors also can't remove the synthol from his body because his tissue is so messed up underneath that he could potentially bleed to death. You can see how the skin in his arms even changed color, they are permanently red. Which should be a bad sign that maybe you should probably stop because the skin is usually red when it's damaged. His arms kind of look like a balloon that has had the air inside for too long and now just lays on the floor in your house. You step on it whenever you see it but it doesn't pop because it's so deflated and damaged. Kind of like this guy's arms. Now we have the case of Arlino de Souza from Brazil, where synthol injection is getting more and more common. He was also taking steroids and growth hormones but was not seeing the results he wanted until a friend offered him some sight enhancement oil that would help him pull ahead of the competition. I don't know how he thought this would help him pull ahead, but he ended up looking really weird. He says that to get a body like his, it is very difficult, but come on, nobody can get or wants a body like this, because this is not natural. He has lifted all his life and in his younger years he looked very respectable. I don't know why he thinks that this looks better. 
Rodrigo Ferraz is another Brazilian who decided to inject synthol after lifting for a long time without the great results he wanted. This guy actually started a YouTube channel showing people how to work out and get muscles like him, but he never mentioned that they were fake. Which was pretty obvious since they are some of the smoothest muscles I have ever seen. It almost seems like someone photoshopped them. His pec implants also make it seem like he had a really bad boob job. Damn, the more I look at this video, the more I get turned on. This man had boob implants put in, and he thinks they look like pecs. I think I might have to blur some of this stuff out. Honestly, who the hell thinks that you could build muscle doing these exercises? This guy claims to be natural, but muscles do not look that way. Yet another Brazilian is Romario dos Santos Alves, who injected a combination of oil, painkillers, and alcohol to pump up his body to this misshapen lump. This guy got to the point where he was already scheduled to have one of his arms amputated after a doctor told him that his arms were turning into rocks. He couldn't even inject himself with regular needles anymore and had to find stronger needles that were used for livestock. This guy even tricked his wife to get to the spots that he couldn't reach, but after she found out, she threatened to leave him. The doctors were able to remove some of the synthol which saved his arms, but this guy still wants to be a professional bodybuilder. I'm sorry to tell you this bud, but nobody is going to ever take you serious after this, since you are not putting in the work to get incredible results that others are able to achieve. Here we have one of the most famous synthol users with some of the fakest looking muscles of all time. This is Valder Segato, again from the very body conscious country of Brazil. This man has tits and he pretends like they are pecs. I'm 100% sure that the only time this man lifts weights is when he is recording himself because there is not a single part of his body that has any real muscle growth. His lower arms, stomach and lower body look completely normal and thus completely out of place. It's like the famous meme where it looks like they put two bodies together to make one man. I just can't get past his boobs and how he can't see that he has them. They are so round but they do look to be merged in the middle. Justin Jedlica is a 39 year old man from New York who hasn't gone completely crazy with huge implants, but this guy is probably the fakest person on this list. He has had over 340 cosmetic surgeries including getting implants in his shoulders, back, chest, biceps, calves and butt. This guy even worked for 2 years on developing special implants to make his back look bigger. This guy does look somewhat better than the others but because he has so much work done on his face which looks plastic as hell, you will correctly assume that his body must not be his either. He has spent over $500,000 on surgeries to look like Ken from Barbie, but at least this guy clearly admits to being fake. Coming in at number 1, we have a pair of Brazilian brothers named Tony and Alvaro Pereira, who decided to inject Sinta for the same reason as most of the other people on this list. They felt like they were working hard to build muscles but weren't building up fast enough so they decided to cheat their way to the top. Each one of these brothers weighs over 250 pounds which makes you think about how much of that is the oily substance they inject into their body. Although they claim to eat over 5000 calories every day and work out daily in order to build up their muscles and get more definition, their reputation is already ruined. We cannot trust that they actually work that hard because we cannot see the results that come with it. All that we can see is the fake bullshit muscles they have that make their bodies look monstrous. I don't know what's happening with Brazil but they are like second in the world in getting plastic surgery and probably number one in synthol use. They care about how their body looks a great deal and are willing to pay a lot of money and put their bodies at risk in order to look good while walking on the beach. But the bodies we have seen today are not what I would call attractive. I think they are more of a sideshow attraction. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.